Oh man, not one, but two big PlayStation events. And the second one is the big one. everybody how are y'all doing we have some fantastic ps5 news today before we get started give the video a huge like thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up all right not one but two playstation events coming this summer and let's talk about the first one sony has officially announced a state of play this Thursday. This Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And they set the expectations. They made it very clear. A deep dive into this game, Deathloop, a Bethesda game. <laughs> a deep dive into Deathloop. I wonder if this is a shot at, at Xbox, letting them know we're going to sell your games and they're going to sell good on our platform. But Deathloop, deep dive, as well as um highlighting some indie games as well as third party games when they said indie games bro they better give us some more show kina bridge of spirits some more love can't wait for this game this game looks amazing man definitely a day one um buy on my ps5 but <clears throat> here is the and they're going into specifics so the expectations are set no god of war ragnarok at this presentation but don't worry don't worry it's coming we're going to talk about the second event or horizon forbidden west at this presentation this is what the official sony blog post says and then we're going to talk about the second big event we've seen colt's head spinning powers in action before but this thursday we'll get a nine minute so they're gonna have nine minutes look at death loops time twisted world as part of a new state of play so <clears throat> of that 30 minutes they let us know nine minutes will be death loop the show kicks off 5 p.m on the east coast all right in this extended gameplay sequence we'll see colt use his abilities to selfie skulk across rooftops or going gun blazing to create a whole lot of mayhem. Lots of options available on Black Reef Island. All right, now check this out. In addition to this, long look at Bethesda's violent adventure. We'll have updates on some exciting indie and third party titles. Show Kina some love. The full show clocks in around 30 minutes. Now, this is what they actually said in the blog post, so fans don't go crazy. <laughs> this showcase will not include updates on the next God of War, Horizon Forbidden West, or the next generation of PlayStation VR. All three things that I want. I'm more hyped for the PlayStation VR than all of that. Stay tuned throughout the summer though, as we'll have more updates soon. See you on Thursday. Now, that's the first presentation. No Horizon, no God of War. But what if I told you they're saving that for a huge August event? That's right now. I'm reporting on this because it's a reliable source and it's the same leaker. If y'all go and watch my channel, the day before Sony announced on Tuesday, we're having a state of play on Thursday. I said it on Monday. I said, dudes, tomorrow, Sony's going to announce the state of play and it's going to be on Thursday. I said it the day before. Just go watch my channel. The same leaker who had that information spot on is the same person saying <coughs> Horizon Forbidden West and the next God of War game will be, will be showcased next month. Um, according to the leaker who leaked correctly, the July 8th state of play. Here's the exact quote. I just got the news that 
God of War will be shown during an event that should happen next month, August. I wouldn't be surprised if the Grand Theft Auto E, e versus E was shown there instead of State of Play this Thursday. So, according to this leaker, the new God of War, I mean, Grand Theft Auto mode will be shown in August as well. So, yeah, he says the next big event is currently planned for next month, though not set in stone yet. He also said that we would see God of War's first gameplay footage um, at um, Sony event. But the event will actually not have the next God of War or Horizon Forbidden West, which is what he said. All right. It will focus on Deathloop, which is what we know. So, mark your calendars. We're getting one in July. And according to this leaker, <coughs> we're getting one in August. He said it's not set in stone. But... Um, a big event, a big event will be in August. Let's get hype, boys. All right, and girls, I know all changes watch my channel. All right, next news item. I thought this was pretty interesting. Bro, Ubisoft is planning an Assassin's Creed live online game service. It's called the Assassin's Creed Infinity Project seeks to emulate the prolonged financial success of GTA 5 or Fortnite. So um, imagine something like GTA 5 or Fortnite, but in the Assassin's Creed world. world. Something that is a, um, probably going to be free. I think it is going to be free to play, <coughs> but we'll have continual updates and services and features. So everybody trying to uh, milk off that games as a service um wave all right those are news items bro what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things gaming bro oh that switch oled trash we out